So I'm prepping for WonderCon with basically two weeks notice, and I don't think I'm the only one who got two weeks notice. A goal of mine for this year was to do more comic conventions, and I've already done two, but my main focus is not just to make money, but I want to build connections and meet more people in the industry and get like critique and feedback on my portfolio so I could become a better artist and, and learn more about entering the animation industry. Making money is a plus, it's, it's nice, and I love it when people actually want to pay me money for my art or commissions, but I don't want to look at people as numbers and calculate every single sale or judge a show based on my salesman skills because my salesman skills suck. I know it's probably a bad business model, but I don't I don't think I'm a good businessman. It works for some people, but I just want to make good art and have my art speak for itself, I guess. I'm going to keep saying this, but my main goal is just to be a, a better artist and create what I want to create. All right, quick intermission from uh, those clips I was showing you. Um, this new art style that I'm doing, it's like taking up all my time and I'm leaving for the convention tomorrow, which is Thursday. And uh, I haven't even finished this. And this is what I wanted to be my main print. So what I'm doing is just filling it in like sketchy, trying to get the values and all that. But I'm doing it one stroke at a time basically and it's taking forever i'm not doing like cell shading like i usually do which takes not as long so hopefully i can finish this in the next hour so i can get prints of it made if not i'll keep you guys updated we're leaving tonight or tomorrow let's go so I paid for this convention on the 15th of March and the show takes place on the 29th of March. They only gave me like two weeks prep. I don't know why. I think people backed out last minute. So I got a table last minute. I literally have no new art for the show because I haven't done a convention since 2019. Everything, every single drawing that I have is outdated and I was like super embarrassed to even show it. So my first stop when I got to LA, well, to my hotel was this pizza place, which I don't recommend. And my hotel was right across from downtown Disney. So I got to the show about an hour before opening just so I could set up and halfway through my setup, some water con people came and told me I needed to change it because it was too high and I couldn't have a shop window. I think it only sucked because I did a lot of research before the show to get ideas for my setup and, and I was taking inspiration from other people's setups. I wasn't the only one, like a, a bunch of my neighbors, they all had to change their things last minute. I had to help a few of my neighbors fix their setups and everybody was just like frustrated. But by the end of the day, most of them ended up putting their setups back to how they originally were. And I think that's because like tables across from us and down the aisle, they didn't have to change their setups. Like all day we were like watching them and they, their setups stayed the same. I think I might have lost some themselves due to this because I didn't have all my stuff fully set up or displayed but I guess it happens I don't know I'm literally cutting stuff as the show just started like right now I'm still cutting I'm still sitting up I ain't got no time I didn't have enough time I thought I would have enough time but I don't I'm getting a lot of oohs and ahs though Hey, I'm gonna buy that. I'm gonna buy that, son. So many people already getting, making sales, and I haven't made one sale. We've only been open for like 10 minutes, so, but it's pretty sad. Pretty sad, man. <laughs> Okay, so these clips are a few days before the show and uh, I wanted to make a new setup. I haven't messed with my setup since 2019 and I was watching tons of Artist Alley vlogs to get some inspiration. My favorite Artist Alley vlogs who like motivated me the most and gave the most information was uh, Julie and Doodles, Sundrop Studios, Inkwell and Lay Spirit Designs. They, these guys gave me so much information and they, and they made me want to like get back into Artist Alley honestly. Like they all of them were recommended on my YouTube and then I started watching and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do Artist Alley. I want to do Artist Alley. But they all had these like cute, well, I don't think Inkwell does. They all had like these cubes and I thought they would look good if I messed with them a little bit. And uh, so I got them and I tried them and one of them was too big and I had to order more like literally the day before the show and I got them. I couldn't even fully use them because of the WonderCon guidelines. I highly recommend these cubes. I'll put them in my description.
Some people even went home already. I think I did better than I expected I was gonna do. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but attention. Things through the call is now closed. Things may occur at the main lobby doors and exit at this time. Things through the call is closed to attendees and professionals. It's over. Seven o'clock. I did better than I thought I was gonna do. I don't know if you guys can hear me, I might have to do a voiceover, but testing, testing. Day 
day three. And there's so much stuff I want to buy, like there's some miles covers right here I want. Uh, too bad I'm broke. All right, I don't want to yap too much, but my table was $315. Uh, I put about 200 in gas. My hotel was 1500. It's probably not going to be like that for you because we ended up staying an extra two nights. We were there for a week and the hotel was right across the street from the convention center. I walked across the street and it was literally a five minute walk to Disneyland. That's like expensive. You already know that. But I have a bad experience with cheap hotels. When I used to do conventions back in 2019, I would go to like Texas. I stayed in the cheapest hotels I can get. Worst experience ever. And then I just started, you know what? I was like, I gotta spend extra to get a good hotel. So I would say my main expenses for the con that everybody would probably spend was $315 for the booth. The hotel, you probably won't pay what I paid. And then gas was 200. That was like the main thing. And I made $1,200, uh, probably a little bit more than that. Cause I, I bought some stuff at the convention and then food I bought at the convention, which was expensive. My total expenses were a little bit more because I had to buy stuff for my setup, for my sticker paper, my business cards, my prints and all that. So I ended up spending a little bit more on that stuff. And then for, to get to the convention, I had to get like a new tire. I had to get an oil change. I had to get a couple parts fixed on my car. You guys probably won't need that. You guys are probably flying or you guys are doing good but the convention I only had three prints and eight sticker sheets and then like 10 stickers maybe and a lot of the stickers I brought I didn't bring extras I only brought like five of each and I sold out of, of a few of them um those are like small transactions so you have to make a lot of small transactions to get 1200 and I think I made a lot of small transactions I talked to a few people Everybody was selling small print stickers. That was like the main thing selling here. I already applied for next year. I'm gonna do it one more time because I like I like the environment. I like how they have uh, industry artists there. And now that you guys know, that's my main thing. I uh, just want to talk to people, get feedback and all that. So I'm gonna do it next year. I plan on making way more next year because I'm gonna have way more prints and I have a whole year to get ready instead of two weeks. Let's just say I, I made my table back, made all my expenses back, but I did not make my hotel back. Like I said, I was uh, treating it like a little vacation. I We spent a lot. And then Disneyland just ate my ate through my pockets. So I took an L. I'm not a businessman. Uh, I don't know how to save save money. Um, you guys know that already. Uh, but uh, thank you for watching. Um, appreciate it. I hope I got said everything I needed to say. I can't think of anything right now. I wrote down some stuff. And I try to say it all. But shout out to my patrons. Appreciate all my patrons. And then thank you to all the uh, artist alley vloggers that I follow for posting all their information and all that. I'm gonna try. I'm doing more conventions. I already have four conventions lined up from now till August, and I'm trying to get a couple more in. So expect those vlogs, I guess, once a month. I'll have a vlog for you guys. Uh, appreciate it. Thank you. Shout out my Patreon. Today they are, or there they were. Uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.